Margaret Spellings officially takes over as the new UNC system president tomorrow, but not everyone is happy about yes, it. Yes, statewide, many people have opposed that hiring, and protests are scheduled for tomorrow at UNC Chapel Hill as both students and faculty plan to sound off on that decision. One of the campuses Spellings will oversee is president, ECU. That's where we send our Josh Birch to get reaction. Well, mixed re emotions and reaction here at ECU as well as faculty members I spoke with off camera say this was the wrong hire. Others say time will tell. All across the state, opposition has been strong against the UNC Board of Governors' decision to elect Margaret Spellings as the next president. I'm asking others in the community, my fellow students here, and anyone to fight the hiring of this woman, who especially was hired in a very undemocratic process. Part of the complaint surrounding Spelling's background, which includes overseeing the launch of No Child Left Behind. Earlier this month, Spelling's responded to criticism during the Board of Governors retreat. I'm surprised at the intensity of the reaction, but I look forward to meeting with talking to and learning from those who have questions about my record. At ECU, some faculty who didn't want to be on camera say Spelling's failure at a national level and ideology of looking at students as customers scares them, but some students disagree. I think that she'll do a good job. I've heard of people who have met her and said she has really great ideas. Ideas other students hope will address issues that concern them. To make sure that our tuition doesn't increase, to make sure that programs that are needed for students aren't cut. Mia Leone isn't necessarily worried about tuition, but rather the access of healthy food on college campuses. That's not just a problem at ECU, but a problem across all of UNC systems and even every college campus. Other questions surrounding spellings involve her take on LGBT issues and equality on campuses, which some argue hasn't been answered. We need to do a much better job of making sure that everybody has the ticket to the American dream, and that means post-secondary education for darn near everybody. Now, one thing Spelling says she does plan to do is visit every school in the UNC system soon. Sources at ECU say their visit will likely be at the end of March. Josh Birch, 9 on your side.